Hi, my name is Joe and I'm an Applications Engineer here at Hawkeridge Systems. Today we're going to go over a pair of SolidWorks 2014 drawing enhancements. The first is the Auto Split tool, and the second is the ability to save your bill of materials sorting schemes for later reuse, either as a template or as a property of your bill of materials. If you take a look at this drawing that I have here, you'll see that one of my views for this part is partially obscured by the bill of materials. I could resize or reposition these views, but an easier way is to right-click anywhere in the table, go to Split, Horizontal Auto Split, choose a number of lines you'd like to break up the table by, and either a horizontal or vertical alignment. I'm going to choose Horizontal, say Apply, and you can see that that table has been nicely split across the top of my drawing sheet without me having to resize or reposition any of these views. Nice time-saving feature. If I take a look at what this looks like had I chosen a vertical alignment, you can see that that also nicely fills in the page and gives an aesthetically pleasing uh, layout for your bill of materials. So let's take a look at the ability to save your sorting schemes. If I come over here to my bulldozer, you'll see that I already have a bill of materials in here, but it doesn't seem to have any kind of order to it. If I right click anywhere on the table and go to sort, I can choose a number of different criteria to sort by. In this case, I'm going to choose the quantity and descending so that I have the largest numbers at the top. And instead of just saying OK, I'm going to say save these current sort settings so that I can reuse them later. This will save them as a property of the bill of materials template. So if I say OK, I go ahead and have these rearranged the way I like. But now, if I were to change the bill of material type to say parts only, everything's mixed up again. Rather than having to go back through and redo those steps, now if I right click and go to sort, you'll see it has the ability to apply my saved sort scheme because it's a property of this bill of material. So I say OK, and now everything is populated the way that I would like to in the order that I had originally saved. Now this saves it as a property within the same session of SolidWorks for this bill of material. But if I wanted to reuse this bill of material sorting scheme later in another part or in another drawing or another session, I can right click on the table, go to Save As, and I can save this now as a template. I'll say Quantity Descending and save it. And now if I delete this out and come make a new bill of materials, I can choose that new one from a template like so. So even if I choose parts only and say OK and bring this over, you can see that once again this has been populated with a quantity descending. So today we went over the auto split tool and the ability to save your bill of materials sorting schemes for later reuse. I uh, hope that if you found this video helpful you will subscribe to our Hawkridge Systems channel. Thanks for watching.